Hi you guys, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to um, your reading. This is a tarot, oracle, intuitive, and psychic reading. My name is Serena and I am intuitive. An intuitive, and an empath, and a psychic. And I have a message for you guys. So, first I'm gonna ask, who am I reading for? Who is this reading for? So you can know for sure if this reading is for you or not. Okay, so oop, we have the Eight of Cups coming out and the Five of Cups reversed. Wow, and I didn't even pick up these cards over here. Should we do that again? Let's do that again. Who am I reading for? Oh my gosh. What type of cancer am I reading for? What type of cancer am I reading for? Who am I reading for? Who am I reading for? We have the Prince of Cups. Give me one more. And the Nine of Pentacles. So that's double confirmation on the Nine of Pentacles because it is your shadow card in the reverse. So I feel like I'm talking to a masculine energy actually. I feel like I'm talking to a masculine energy. If you're not a masculine watching this, you definitely have a masculine coming in in the future. But right now, you're being asked to really focus on your singlehood. Really master being by yourself. Really master your finances right now. Master your business. Be successful in, in other aspects of life that aren't love. Because once that lover does come in, you're going to be all set in, in, in other areas of your life. Does that make sense? So that's who I'm reading for. Cancer, a personal issue does reach resolution. And with my cat Loki here, you're needing to listen to your intuition. Okay? So um, there's Pisces energy here on the board and Gemini energy. With the, Pi with the hangman, you're definitely going through a huge transformation. And I feel like this is in regards to how vulnerable and open you are with, your with yourself. I feel like you're going through, yeah, you're going through a, 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 um, an awakening, okay, a spiritual awakening, and I feel like, again, you're also focused on your finances right now and, and your business. You could be, you know, like a self-made millionaire or, you know, that's the energy, that's the goal, right? Yes, you are. We have the card of luxury here. I feel like you are someone who, you know, wants to live a luxury lifestyle so that should be your first priority and i feel like um you're also working on your throat chakra here cancer okay expressing yourself clearly this has to do with your livelihood. This has to do with, you know, your career, your work, what you're doing every single day, what you do to make a living. You know, you're really curating your perfect self-expression, doing something that you love and that thing, you know, sustains you. I feel like you are needing to focus more on your passion here. I feel like you are needing to focus more on your passions. Cancer, we have God of spiritual healing. An aspect of you or a situation in your life is in need of healing. And I feel like this is, you know, what you do for work and career. You're needing to speak your truth and express yourself clearly. You need to communicate clearly to the universe and to others and to yourself. Don't be afraid to tell it like it is. I do see you moving forward humbly, steadily, honorably, dependably. Like, you know, you're going to have the discipline. You're going to have the right work ethic. You're going to have the right attitude to complete your daily tasks, to prioritize to get shit done and in that way you're going to align with your soul's purpose with your soul's mission and you're going to align with your soul mate as well you're going to align with your you know your perfect partner your perfect match you are okay this is in the cards for you this is your energy you 
you are going to live a luxury lifestyle, okay? Prioritize this. Prioritize this. Manifesting is having the vision and putting the work in. That's how you successfully manifest. That's how you materialize. What chakra is Cancer working with? What chakra is Cancer working with? What chakra is Cancer? Ooh, you're working with your solar plexus chakra, which is about your thought processes. I was going to also mention you could have Earth in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for sure. There's a lot of pentacles out here. And we have joy, okay? Be happy now. Like, like it's so important to be happy. This is a key to manifesting, being happy now, being joyful now. No matter what you're going through, being happy now, I'm telling you, is such a powerful key to manifesting. I feel like there's something else that you need to know. What else does Cancer need to know? What else does Cancer need to know? The sun. Being happy now is so important. Stepping into your authenticity, mastering yourself right now is so important. Making the right decisions. An affirmation is I make the right I make right decisions quickly. I make right decisions quickly, knowing that you're on the right path, having the faith, okay? Being happy now, just being kind of carefree and having trust. What else does Cancer need to know? What else does Cancer need to know? What else does Cancer need to know? We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, like I said, Earth energy strongly here, especially if you're Taurus, okay? The Hierophant talks about marriage, talks about higher learning, higher learning things are going to be uncomfortable but get comfortable in that <laughs> get comfortable in the uncomfortable because the only constant is change okay okay so higher learning leveling up here eight of cups there could be someone returning from your past so your lover if you're thinking is that person ever going to return yes that's what you need to know that person is going to return it's only a matter of time give it to god let the divine work let the divine work let the divine work <laughs> okay it's not about your time cancer is that person going to return yes that's what you needed to know heavy taurus energy especially if they're a taurus leo scorpio or aquarius okay pisces energy okay got pisces on the board as well as i mentioned earlier and gemini energy okay heavy pisces energy this is a perfect match you and this person are a perfect match you guys are both very spiritual and you have to let this person learn their lessons on their own time. And you have your own lessons that you're needing to learn as well. Don't force the connection. It is going to come together in time. Trust, trust, trust. Your intuition is definitely heightened right now. You could have Pisces in your chart. Okay, you should look where Pisces is in your chart. Okay, because we have double Pisces and, and uh, double Taurus confirmation as well. Alright, I'm sending you guys all the love. Bye, Cancer.